everybody. It is Saturday, December the 21st. And uh, as you already know, Jared scored. Got him a nice doe. Uh, <clears throat> we come out of the woods about 5.35 because he went back in the woods and sat with me. <clears throat> but uh, we're headed back over there today. He's going to ride over with me. Uh, he was talking about either taking his 22 and doing some squirrel hunting uh, or taking his bow because he could still bow hunt. I think. I have to look back. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can substitute a bow for a muzzleloader. I can't remember the regs, but he's going to do something. He wants to be with me, you know, while I'm over hunting. So I'm headed to go get breakfast, and uh, we'll uh, be over soon. So stay tuned to J and J True Outdoor Adventures. Well, we've made it here. Jared's unlocking the gate. Of course, he come with me. I mean, he's already killed his. He brought his 22. He's going to squirrel hunt, and uh, that might benefit me because he'll be moving around. I depend on how close he is to me. But he's unlocking the gate, and we're getting ready to head through. Okay, there goes Jared. He's over here with me today. He's uh, squirrel hunting since he's already killed his deer with muzzleloader yesterday. Nice big doe. We probably drop it off at the butcher shop. We're uh, hunting here close to where Alvin's tree stand is. <clears throat> it's over that way. And uh, I'm watching this flat up here and uh, down the skid road into the slick cut and then I'll be watching also back up this way the way we came in but uh, I'll probably gonna stay here maybe an hour two hours see if I see anything Jared going over the hill there, he's hoping he can, maybe if he's going back through there squirrel hunting, gets down that bottom, he might drive something up this way for me to get a shot at. So, we'll just have to uh, see what happens. Stay tuned. Well, it's uh, about 15, 20 after 10. <clears throat> I moved from where I was at. Um, hooked up with Jared. I walked back into this hall where he uh, got his doe yesterday because it's close to the power line right away where there's <clears throat> there is some grass and everything where they cut out this right away and the skid roads and everything they were hydro seeded planted with clover and the first year they planted with winter wheat but now it's just grass growing uh, to maybe hopefully catch something coming through uh, we're probably not going to hunt till about noon. I mean, bow season, I only seen while in the woods two deer, a doe and a fawn. Uh, second week of rifle season over here, I seen two does on two different days. And uh, so far, muzzler season. I hunted yesterday all day till dark and didn't see nothing. Uh, Jared, he'd moved twice or maybe three times until he got to this spot, and that's when he got that doe. Uh, <clears throat> other than that, he hadn't seen nothing. Well, take that back. Yeah, he did. He seen them two. He got shot at one of them, missed it. But uh, the yardage was, you know, 125, 150 yards. And, uh, so uh, he was shooting off-handed where if this doe that he got yesterday uh, he had a good steady rest but uh, probably just going to hunt to noon I mean I'm just I'm, I'm ready to wrap up I mean I hate to say that I mean J&J True Outdoor Adventures is about being in the woods and hunting but you know when you're not seeing any deer and there's no mass we found an acre this year's acre nice and brown hard when we you know, Jerry tried to squeeze it between his thumb and his finger 
I cut it open with a knife. It's black inside. It's rotten inside. So, no matter what the DNR has posted, in this area, this county, in I guess part of this county, the mass did not hit well. The deer are not here. I talked to a uh, taxidermist yesterday. It's also the butcher. Uh, when we took Jerry's deer to him, he's on a lease not too far from this one. And he said the deer are going to the fields. He said he's had his feeder out. There's just piles of corn laying on the ground. They, they have migrated to where the, there's food, which is fields anywhere where they can find something to eat since there's nothing in the woods uh, so therefore they're not coming to his feeder and his corn just laying on the ground uh, it almost appears that way here as much walking as Jared done today squirrel hunting he hasn't jumped the first deer so in the areas I hunted you got vast area to watch especially you know select cuts I mean there's just acres and acres and acres of select cut uh no movement so they've migrated i guess to somewhere where there's a food source uh, and that makes hunting hard and makes it discouraging so uh yeah we'll probably wrap it up about noon and uh, head out and since this is the last day of the western muzzleloader season and probably the <sighs> probably be the last video I do before Christmas of anything I'd like to take this time to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and uh, a happy and prosperous New Year uh, we appreciate you watching j, j True Outdoor Adventures uh, please like subscribe comment share our videos uh, wish we'd have had a lot more action this year I mean none of us got a deer except for Jared and here he got it at the muzzleloader season we still have till 31st to bow hunt but as you can see here uh, I don't know whether it would be worth coming out here and trying to bow hunt not unless uh, you went somewhere where you had permission to hunt that had farm fields or something uh, and then there is a late doe season the end of the month so but uh like again, like I said again, we appreciate you watching. Uh, I'll have more videos throughout the year, different things. Jerry's wanting to do some bushcrafting. We're going to try to do some bushcrafting videos. Uh, of course, you know, I'm a ham radio operator, and periodically I have little projects I work on for ham radio that I post. So there'll be some content. Uh, but the hunting season's almost wrapped up. So unless something happens here within the next couple of hours, this might be the last video segment, uh, so I'll take this time to say God bless. Again, thank you for watching, and we'll see you at the next hunting adventures. Well, a little update. Uh, I know I closed off my video, but... Uh, I was looking at the uh, j, j True Outdoor Adventures Facebook page and one of our uh, viewers there had made the comment that Sunday is the last day of the 2019 West Virginia firearm season and uh, <clears throat> so I, w I went and checked the regs real quick and he was correct. I, for some reason I thought today was the last day but for us, Jared and myself, today is the last day because we don't hunt Sundays. Uh, we did one time when they finally legalized it. And that was it. We just, we don't care for it. We don't hunt Sundays. But tomorrow, Sunday, December the 22nd, is the last day of the West Virginia uh, muzzleloader season. So there is still a chance for people to go out and, and hunt and possibly get one. But I know Jared and I won't be. So, uh, Again, it's, you know, uh, it's almost uh, 11 and still haven't seen anything. Uh, just, uh, the woods are dead. No squirrels. No deer. I didn't even hear birds this morning. and We got in here before daylight. 
and you know when you're bow hunting you know as soon as it gets daylight as soon as the sun pops up maybe even before you hear birds singing and everything we didn't hear nothing it's just dead quiet uh, I can hear vehicles up and down the road uh, the birds aren't drowning out the noise so but uh, again uh, just want to give that little update that tomorrow Sunday December the 22nd 2019 is the last day of the West Virginia muzzleloader season not today for Jared and I today is so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time